Hello everyone and welcome back to our Let's Play of Crusader Kings 2, the Warhammer mod. So, last time we were playing, uh, we are fighting uh, Count Vlad and this war. This brutal, brutal, bloody war. Mm. Independence. Why do you want independence? Dude? Here, stop thinking of independence. You can be my royal huntsman. Yeah. Here we go. You still gonna revolt? Stop it, don't do it. Um Call to arms, maybe. I shall call you to arms. Okay. Who else? Who the fuck is this guy? Lord Chancellor? Is this what I my my actual Chancellor? Whoa. He wants me to pay him all this money? Dude, you're fucking crazy, man. I can just revoke your title, your position, and then you have nothing. How does he have so many men? Where the fuck is this dude? He's one province, he has that many soldiers. Wow, what a douche. Oh no. News have uh, news have reached you that Emperor Siegfried has started preparing a great war. That's not Emperor Siegfried, it's actually uh, news has reached you, my Emperor, that war boss Hulk of Goblin Grey Great Horde has started a wog. A wog. Uh, against Hordes and hordes of barbaric greenslings are already flocking. We must be prepared. So, um, I don't even know who that is, <laughs> but they've started a wa. And, uh, was that it? I don't, I don't know. This is it. This war boss. He's preparing a wog. He's a weak boss, though. He prefers Mork, obviously, and he's a large orc. So, over here, there will be a great horde invasion of some point. And uh, we'll deal with that when it happens. Obviously, not right now, since we're busy killing vampi vampire scum. Why does he want to lower crown authority? And how does he even have the men to do that? I have 6,000 soldiers. Only a thousand of them are like mine. The other 5,000 are, uh. Are, uh, what's your names? That elvish. ladies. Nice. They drove off that uh, war band that was plaguing me, thank god. I wasn't gonna let you do anything. I'm not that I'm lazy, I was just like, eh, eventually they'll go away, maybe. And I'm married to this guy's daughter, right? Does she have a claim? She has a claim on what county? This county, for whatever reason? But she doesn't have a claim on the this kingdom. The Grand County. So it would fall to his son, and then. Can I plot to kill you? And will it work this time? I think we tried to kill him before, and everyone told us no. I guess not. I guess I don't. Don't want to. Yep. Ooh, I want a Griffin mount. <laughs> I have to have a thousand gold, though. It'll be a while. You want to surrender? They're all occupations. I've yet to fight his actual army. He should really just swear allegiance to me at this point because I'm stronger than him. 
Also, I hope Kazakarak or would the High King. I hope the Dwarf Kingdom of Karazankor and uh, Kabalin Ankor, right? Karadim Ankor are able, are able to hold back this fucking wah. I honestly hope that that's the case, and they're able to hold back the wah. The dwarves will be our shield. What? Claimed Norland? Oh shit, I'll be able to claim that? How many- how, how big is our army? Oh, she ain't got nothing. I could claim that entire duchy. That entire kingdom. Under my own banner. I might do that. And then, what you do is you seize Middenheim, you know, the kingdom of Middenheim, the electorate, and, uh, then you have a path to the Northern Ocean, and you've united, at that point, most of the Empire. God. More and more of my army is not, like... Like, we must be taking some crazy freaking attrition or something. I have no idea. Slaughter everyone. End the siege. Thank you. God's sakes. They won't be able to take Altendorf. Yeah, there's, there's far too many defenders. The dwarves in the mountains are our shield. So, Vlad, you want to come to terms? It's just a flesh wound. Still won't accept my offer. Von Drac, House Von Drac. Which doesn't exist anymore, I don't think, right? I think House Von Drac ends with her. Nope, there's still two more House Von Dracs left in the world. The Karsteins have not killed them all. And this is Von Kalun. Kalun. Yer has decided to leave and join the Witch Hunters, fight corruption, pledging her life. Go in the light of Sigmar, half sister. I gain a high hundred piety. Oh, I've got a lot of prestige. Holy shit. Need a new spy master. This lady. You study the technology of the Bretonians. We must learn the secrets of their knights. <laughs> Immediately she figured it out. I was like, oh, this is it. They have horses. And they have sh they use shields. This guy moved his capital to Alun. From uh what was the capital? Nula? N Nula? Nul? Nun? Nun? And he moved it to Allen. Oh, wow, we're actually seizing this land. Crazy. That, uh, this guy actually was going to lose this war. He had 20,000 men, and now he's got, like, 4,000. I mean, it's gonna be a while before I actually start any wars again. Probably take a break and replenish my manpower, but on the flip side... You know, I've gained some territory along this coast here, and I've basically been able to fortify the defense of my capital. And I assume that the uh, that the chapter of Reichguard will not fall. So I'm not. Oh my god, look at all their... What piece of territory do you even hold, lady? 12th seat. There's a Supreme Council. 
Is he like the first seat? He's just the grandmaster, I guess. I don't know. Kill them. Slaughter men. Kill all who dare stand against us. Be they human or not. This guy still wants to bring down my authority. Uh, what do you want to do? He will be disinherited. So, Otho will be disinherited. Yeah. Go with my blessing. So, Otho is no longer, um... Yeah, that's fine. Because then, that means... Oh no, she's been imprisoned. By Grandmaster Emmanuel. No, let her out. What are you doing? Don't, don't, don't capture my sister, no. You want to surrender now, Vlad? Your armies have been shattered at this point. Successor nomination. I'll nominate Siegfried, my son. Like, who's the actual royal successor? It's Siegfried, my second son. Has declared a great wah. <laughs> he declared a wah on me. Good luck getting here, dude. You'll take so much attrition just getting to me. He has to march through Kaza, Kaza Ankur. So, I'm, you know, fuck him. Whatever. I should be able to call enough allies to aid me. Should be able to. Should. Keyword. Kind of great hairstyles do I have at this point. Oh yeah, looking good. Looking good. Looking good. Looking good. That one's probably the best one. <laughs> He's Obi-Wan Kenobi. <laughs> yes, old Obi-Wan Kenobi. I haven't heard that name in a long time. A long time. Good, good. Make everyone in the capital, including King Louis, like me. High priorities. Hey Vlad, you should you should surrender to me. You should surrender. Even though I really don't have the manpower at this point to do anything. And should I be really afraid of that wa? Like they're a billion miles from me. Like <laughs> I'm not scared of this dude. And like, where's Blackfire Pla Pass? Right, it's here somewhere, isn't it? Booming Peak. Like, this is it right here. This is Blackfire Pass. Right? I don't see any other way into my domain. So, that must be it. Hopefully the Dwarven Kingdoms will shield me. I will not have to, uh, to deal with anything. Kislev, how's this kid doing? My, uh, future son-in-law. Good, I guess. And then once this war is over, I have to stand my army down for a long time. I like that other beard, though. Let's go back to that other beard. Much more imperial looking. A crazy beard. And then we have, uh, she's at war. Wow, she's at war with everyone. Who? Some random abbot. Burned at the stake. Let's see. I mean, <laughs> he's dead. He's dead. He's dead, man. He's, he's definitely, he's really dead. Super dead. Who's my next dude? Oh, it will be my guy. How about Hunsel, who's depressed? Grand Theologist Thulfram von Wolfen.
Come on. Break them. So I may end this war. It's been a long, long war. Funny enough, I actually own... I own the abbey here for some reason. Temple fortifications. Sure, let's do it. I got the money. Upgrade that shit. What are they gonna do? Declare war on me? I think not. He's still fighting his war, too. And I don't even know if he's winning. What's the war score here for this war? I think you can click on it and just hover over it and it'll tell you. So this guy's actually gonna win. Right? Yeah, he's actually gonna win. So this guy... And whoever he's in league with, he's gonna, they're gonna win. Maybe this guy? This guy's gonna win too. I don't think this guy will be able to unite the Empire though. Yeah, his prestige and piety have to be super high. Neither are true. Even though that guy really likes me. Oh no. Where? Down here? Only 17,000 of them. Was that the wall? <laughs> One army that I could easily smash? My hands tied behind my back? Man, I'm gonna let my armies uh, stand down for a little bit before I deal with those orcs, but you know. Alright, we should be able to win this if we take this final settlement. There's only like a thousand dudes. We should be able to take it. And we should be able to win end this war. He should stand down. Keyword is should. Ulrikin. Ulrik is the god of wolves, battle, and winter. Before the rise of Sigmar. Yeah, Sigmar was a Ulrikin. He believed in the, the god of Ulrik or something like that. Todbringer. This is actually one of the original um, founding families of the Empire. Todd Todbrunger. Yeah, because uh, von Holzenkrug is definitely an older family. Like, I think this lady is... No, von der Marsch. No. Some of these, like... Actually, I don't know that any of these are. No, I think these are one of the oldest families. It's this guy's family. Schaffer. Like, I think these two families are, like, some of the... First electorates of the empire. They were the original tribes. Cool enough. The countess, just surrender. I know you're an you're an impaler. You like Vlad. I mean, you probably like what Vlad does to his victims. That's okay. It's a lot. That's agreeable. It's allowed. What are these elves doing? I like that. Like, three thousand man elvish armies appear out of nowhere to aid me. How much of the army is mine? Only a thousand dudes from this five thousand man army. This was ten thousand men. Oh, fuck that. Let's just go here and kill this army. Also, let's uh... There's a Sylvanian army that actually might be controlled by um... Vlad himself. And if that's the... Oh, here he is right here. Here's Count Vlad. Let's give, him a, let's give him a good murdering. We'll cut him down upon the battlefield and send his army fleeing back to the holes from which they came out of. For Sigmar, brothers. For Sigmar. Yeah, this is not gonna be a... This is gonna be what you call a slaughter. He's actually winning in the middle. Look at that shit. 
I can't believe that. All three flanks are attacking this guy. Kill him. There's 50 dudes. Surround him and poke him to death. There we go. It's over. End. That's damn right I won that war. Imperial Reichland expands. And thus Sigmar has been vindicated. So what happened to my sister? She ever let out? Oh, she does. Oh, she was. Oh, she became a witch hunter. She actually became a witch hunter under the guy that imprisoned her. She joined him. So I gotta stand my armies down because they've been completely fucked. They've just been smashed to the bejesus. Quick, man, return to Altendorf. <laughs> We'll just wait. We'll wait to deal with those orcs. We've got some land now, guys. So what's what's her army strength? 600 men. Oh, I don't have the claim anymore. To seize that land. I could make her a tributary, but... To seize that. I don't have the thing to seize that kingdom anymore. Oh, well. That's fine. Maybe this guy will kneel before me. Declare war. You know that land you were fighting so hard for? Yeah, I'm just gonna take all of it. I'm not that cruel. But I'll have a powerful ally in Kislev. And at some point, uh, Everheim. Oh, the old man died. Alright. So his heir is actually my brother-in-law. And... I wonder when it would fall. Sure, join the war, friend. I wonder when it would come down the line to her, to my wife. All right, who are the, who are the next in line? Right, and usually, oh, here it is, it'll tell me. Uli, Albrecht, and Oswin. I think my wife's name is what? Helen? Her heir. Is it her heir as well as my son? Siegfried? Yeah. So if I'd somehow got her in power, like if I plot to kill this dude. Oh wow, people immediately join me. They, they hate this dude for some reason. Whatever. Here, so have some money, join my plot. Nice. Blasted traitors. You dare. Give these people a little bit of money. Hey, watch. Hey, hey there, neighbor. Why don't you join my plot? I'm gonna kill this man. Mm -hmm. It's a mass wealth. It's something I can do, right? What the fuck just happened? Why did a three thousand man rebel peasant army come out of nowhere? Alright, you wanna join the war? To the capital. Pour into the capital. We must save our our friends and our allies. We've actually managed to fucking defeat them. That is hysterical. I wasn't even like attempting to do that. That's hilarious. I win. You guys are shitheads. Don't attack me next time. Fucked up. Get fucked on. 
Alright, well, let's rally the army together, and I guess we'll go deal with those greenskins. Return to Oberdorf or whatever it's called. He's only got 80 men left, and they're not, they're hardly a threat. So, let's just, we'll bring the, the army together, and we'll go and murder. We'll go, we'll go kill all those greenskins. There'll be no match. Alright. Let's have a march then. March south. And we might as well, right? No, don't do that, dummies. We're actually pretty powerful. Pretty pretty strong. Pretty strong. If I actually had everybody fighting with me, I'd have five thousand men. But I don't, so you know. How'd that wog go? Is he still like wogging against me or whatever it is? He's actually a coward, so he's not gonna wog against me. So fuck that guy. And this guy likes me now. Likes me enough to not declare a war. Although I'm a tyrant. Oh no. Peasants. Pizants. Pissants, you know. That's right, march right through here and we'll kill all of the raiders. Oh, they're next door. Just charge in to the town and slaughter them. It's okay, we'll be good. I'm really improving relations with their head priest or priestess or whatever. Here, you want a white piece? Sure, you can go to jail. <laughs> I'll put you in prison, dude. No problem. Did he really say no? Yep, you're in jail. Have a good day. Also, um... I'm executing you. You're dead. Drug him. We put him in a cage, and he was in a cage for two minutes, and then we drug him outside and cut his head off. That's what we do. Okay, this is the Empire. I'm still maimed, funny enough. Also, I'm a hunter, apparently. He's done. He's done. He's fighting so many fucking wars that he can't win at this point. Look, they're all rebelling against him. Even this dude is rebelling against him. It's great. It's great. I love it. Go. We must kill the Asaur cord. We've arrived. Massacre all of the orcs ever. Yeah, they're all dead, man. Look at that shit. Man, I'll tell you what, man. Thanks for playing, and we immediately killed them. Executed. Because filthy orcs come don't deserve to live, obviously. Get them. Stab them to death. Use your swords, men. Alright, we've got it. We don't, we don't, don't worry about it, guys. We killed them. See, look. We slaughtered them all. See? We get shit done in the Empire, okay? Oh, the, we, there's some stragglers. Guys, there's some stragglers. I apologize. Siegfried himself will lead the charge against these stragglers. We'll cut them down. And Imperial Reichland will be victorious, as we were. Beautiful. And the war. There are no, no more wars. We're done warring for a little bit. We have to take a break and replenish our armies. Back to the capital. Did he win his independence? I think he did. I think he actually beat Count Vlad. Vlad blew his load too early, man. Yeah, he did. He fucking won that war. Yo, man. You wanna be vassalized by me? False religion, I am king of base reluctance. Oh, he's a filthy Talite. But 
she is. She's not. I can seize all of Mordheim, I think, can't I? Yep. Claim Middenhine. Oh boy, all necromatic rulers would hate me. That's my land. Fuck it. Call my allies. Everyone that can fight with me shall. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I will unite the Empire by the sword if I have to. I don't have enough gold to do that. <laughs> Damn. Why do you hate me? Tyrant. Raise levies. Hmm. How do my uh, people feel about me? My vassals. Most of them have a pretty high standing of me. So I'm not going to worry about it. Except this guy. This guy might hate me a little bit. You hate me? Yeah. Why? Usurp title? I didn't usurp your title. I don't believe I did. No, Grand County of Reichland is mine. Duchy of Aldendorf is mine. Duchy of Reichwald is mine. Yeah, no, these are all mine. I don't... Aldorf. What is... Midland? Who's the, who's the Duke of Midland? Or Talbot. This guy is. Oh, why... Why do I have that shitty little piece of territory then? This is... Adelhof, I guess. Grant land the title of Adelhof. There you can have it. There you go, he likes me now. That's fairly easy. Alright, boys. Time to conquer. It was like, this will lower all necrotic rulers' uh, views upon you. What do I care? <laughs> Honestly, what do I care? Damn the Von Karsteins. Damn them all to hell. Now I'm taking Middenheim. I shall seize it. But I think this is a good point to stop this part here for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please don't hesitate to like, comment, subscribe. It means a lot to me. I appreciate it quite a bit. And when we return... We will take Middenheim away from these damn vampires and reinstitute imperial rule there. So, I want to thank you once again. Until next time, stay tuned.